the latest uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W, the one with the wireless, and that's the wireless chip here, wireless and blue chip, wireless and Bluetooth chip here, and the antennas built in. And uh, I'm gonna try if some um, Ethernet ad adapters. These are USB Ethernet adapters, and um, one with a one with a unknown name, you know, no name brand, and then uh, another one with uh, no brand name at all. You know, just a generic guy here. No idea who made this. And then uh, this one came with an Acer laptop, but um, it didn't work with uh, Zero. I plug it in, and there's no way to get it to work. I'm sure there's maybe some drivers you could create or something, but uh, it didn't work. So we'll ignore this guy. Uh, these two guys, uh, even though they, you know, no one, no one's heard of these guys. Uh, it's plug and play. You just plug it into a. Uh, uh, an OTG adapter here and into the Raspberry Pi uh, download the, the latest uh, Raspbian uh, boot it up and it works right away it will go through the DHCP and it will obtain an, an address for each of these guys All right. and um, so let's, let's boot it up and try so we boot it up and uh, we'll just watch so uh, I got this, the black one here connected with uh, no name at all through the OTG connector and um, we'll see so um, this is the wireless so it has already a built-in wireless which uh, you can see it's uh, you see it's already the wireless already has an IP so the second You can see the Ethernet here, ETH0, e -th and it already has its own address. So I got two adapters and two addresses. The built-in Wi-Fi has its own address. The Ethernet that I just plugged in, the USB Ethernet. So as you see, it works. It's just, just all I did was plug it in and boot it up, and it's plug and play. It works. And uh, the other one's the same way. You just plug it in, just boot it up. There was no no drivers needed, nothing. And so you can see how you can easily see how you can create a, a router, like a, an access point or a router or whatever, where you got one connection to the to your LAN and then the Wi-Fi, built-in Wi-Fi can be the host, can be the access point for your cell phones or whatever. Um, I guess if you put it in uh, a hub, you can put it in uh, another USB. You can put in both of them so you have three of them. That way you have uh, ETH, wi the WLAN, the local LAN, and the local LAN Wi Fi. Uh, just take note that you should provide it with plenty of power. The adapter I have, I have a Good cable, a two amp, two amp uh, power supply, which I think all you need is like one for the zero. But uh, I would provide more if I didn't want to do anything serious, because uh, they do take up a lot of power. These uh, adapters, the USB uh, controller, the Ethernet controller, so you got uh, uh, quite a bit of. Uh, power usage here, power drain for these guys. All right, and so uh, so far I haven't had any problems with this uh, setup. Um, on on the Raspberry Pi, uh, their magazine, the MagPi, they actually show you how to create a uh, a router, a Wi-Fi router, using uh, your Ethernet and your um, Wi-Fi and uh, it was actually written before they had built-in Wi-Fi and before the zero came out so uh, 
All right, good luck with your projects, and uh, thanks for watching.